Hi everyone, it's time for your weekly video update. Puppies are seven weeks old now. This is going to be the last update that we have for this litter. Um, as you can see, I have a Sampa in here with them right now. Everybody's doing fantastic. Just growing and developing beautifully. So there's Tala. And that's a little long-haired calico grabbing a quick snack. <laughs> I call it fast food. And that's Miss Wings. And there's Chase, formerly Pork Chop. <laughs> and there's Beaner over there with the ball, along with the dark calico male. And there's Coda. So a couple of you commented, I think um, mostly it was um, Chase's owner commented that he appeared to be a little lighter. And we are outside now, so the light is different. Sorry, they just came out, so everybody's going to go potty, which is a good thing, but didn't intend to get it all on video. <laughs> but... Um, so they just, I'm just thrilled with how everybody's doing. Um, not really having any behavioral issues with any of them. I mean, we've been working on things like mouthing. So, you know, that's a puppy behavior that you'll want to continue to reinforce. That they're not allowed to chew on your hands um, or put their teeth on you. Um, but other than that, they just still are very sweet. Get along great together. You know, Sampe's been a fantastic mom. She plays with him a little bit when she comes in. Of course, they do still try to nurse a little. As you can notice, his ears are starting to come up, so he's doing the one ear up, one ear down. Coda is. So they'll both come up, though. No worries there. Hi, guys. Puppy, 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 puppy. Puppy, 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 puppy. Hi! <laughs> Ooh, Tala's got him. <laughs> so, just typical puppy play, nothing. That's it. Hi, babes. You notice, um... Asampe is not only blowing at her coat, but actually females, after they have their litter of pups, usually about the time they stop nursing, um, they will actually lose their hair. So, um, And they get pretty thin, even though she's being fed almost triple what she normally eats. When they're nursing, you know, it just draws on them. and So she, she will not look her best when you meet her, but that's just part of having puppies. <laughs> So there she's correcting because it kept trying to nurse. Good girl, Asampe. Good girl, Asampe. Big dogs are out on the other side, but it's really hot and muggy, and it was pouring down rain yesterday, which is why I didn't even try to take a video. I wanted them to be outside. So you could see them, but everybody's just kind of laying and staying cool today. So that's Tala. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, ah. you can see they are starting to dig so I'm just going to claim this spot. So by standing where they wanted to dig I'm claiming the spot and letting them know this is my area. Uh -uh. So I'm just going to stand here until they move away. Mm 
And there they go. We'll find something else to do. <laughs> like nurse on mom. So one of the things I didn't mention, guys, when you get them home, kind of look around in your yard um, for things that um, the ASPCA has a list of plants that are toxic to dogs. Um, so a lot of the common things like daylilies and irises, um, several different bushes, those are all toxic to dogs, particularly the bulbs of daylilies and irises. Um, so in the area that the puppies are going to be in, you'll want to kind of do a sweep uh, and just make sure that you get rid of those or, you know, put something up that's going to prevent them from getting into that area. My um, first flower bed here was full of lilies, and I just took them all out and replaced them with things that were safe for dogs. So, but, you know, you, you do what you want, but just be aware that there are common um, plants that are toxic to dogs, so you'll want to you'll want to take care of that. There's Chase. He is so funny, so playful, so playful, sweet social boy. And who is that? That is. That was Coda, and I think that's Beaner. Nope, that's uh, Miss Wings. Told you, she's still a mama's girl. Definitely a mama's girl. So, guys, that's it from us this week. Um, I just, as always, in my seventh video, it's hard to say goodbye, but that's why I breed them, so I can share just the love of owning these dogs. So just um, take care, everyone. Bye.